China is also building a dual-seat variant of the J-20 that can be combined with drones to increase its firepower. In addition, China recently sent a Y-20 transport plane to South Korea. Chinese J-20 stealth fighter jets were escorting the Y-20 transport aircraft. On the other hand, the U.S. does not operate a fifth-generation twin-seat fighter. In the 1990s, the U.S. halted its efforts to develop a two-seat stealth fighter. The high cost of developing and maintaining the aircraft was an important factor in the decision. According to the aircraft's lead designer, developing the dual-seat J-20 was not just for training purposes, instead, its main function is almost certainly to coordinate with drones. In January 2021, to mark the 10th anniversary of the J-20's debut flight, China's Air Force released a video showing a computer-generated visual of the dual-seat version of the J-20. A two-seat aircraft can perform multi-role operations over longer distances despite being heavier than a single-seat aircraft, which is often smaller and more maneuverable. Furthermore, the new variant will perform a variety of tasks, including coordinated reconnaissance, coordinated attack, and coordinated command missions when partnered with drones. In July, Lockheed Martin announced that it was looking at ways to pair the U.S. fighter with a combination of single-use drone wingmen and more advanced autonomous systems. Jinka also praised the Y-20 heavy transport aircraft that were deployed to transfer weapons to Serbia and assist Pakistan and Tonga. In contrast to its reliance on Russian-made engines, the transport aircraft now looks to be powered by China's WS-20 turbofan engines.